So this drama was pretty safe, in my opinion. It wasn't too risky when it comes to the plot. When it comes to the plots though, this isn't a drama I would usually gravitate towards um, for the simple reason of it being way too, well let me not say way too, it's just really tame and that's okay. But if you look at all the other BL dramas on the channel, at least one of the ones that I fell in love with had some type of turmoil, some type of drama. This one, however, does not. And I'm not saying that it has to have drama. It's just something that I prefer. Anyway, this is Mr. Unlucky Has No Choice But The Kiss, 2022. So our main two leads are Kota Hukahara and Nayoya Shinomiya. Kota is a uke and Nayoya is the sime, respectively. Kota is this cute and silly character whose duality is actually really charming. He would go from being the cutest human to showing annoyance or an edgy side. Nayoya is this kind of stern-faced, calm, handsome, and very popular character. They both go to the same university and they have never interacted with each other until Kota almost gets into an accident, but Nayoya saves him, of course. Um, one major thing to mention about Kota is that he is extremely, well, as the title of the drama says, unlucky. Whenever he steps out of the house, something bad happens to him, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Back to Kota and Nayoya. They begin to hang out more and this leads Kota to realize that whenever he is with Nayoya, all of his bad luck just goes away. Kota declares that him and Nayoya should spend more time together. Nayoya takes this as Kota wanting to be with him and he goes in for the kiss. <laughs> now this is when he gets a bit strange. Instead of communicating to Nayoya that, hey, I have no intentions of wanting to be with you, Kota goes along with it and creates this plan, right, to swoon Nayoya with this fake personality to use him, him being Nayoya, for his luck. Yeah, <laughs> obviously this doesn't go the way Kota intended it to go at all. And eventually, Kota starts to actually fall for Naoya. Shocker, right? Leading him to realize he's made a very grave mistake. <laughs> During episode five, Kota comes across these two friends, air quotes, of Naya trying to use him to get concert tickets. Naya declines helping them, telling them that he doesn't trust them because they might resell the tickets, which is fair for him to assume that. Later in that episode though, Koda comes across the same guys from earlier and they're basically trash talking Naya. Kota runs up to one of the guys and punches them in the face. <laughs> During this scene, Kota basically confesses out loud that he was using Naoya for his luck, saying that he's exactly the same as them, as those guys that were trying to use Naya for getting concert tickets. He's envious. Envious because Naya gets what he wants. It's quite sad, actually. <laughs> Up until the episode, though, I was just cruising through the BL. I was waiting for some type of 
drama or a dilemma or something. And there it was. Throughout Quota's entire life, he was always treated poorly from his friends, never wanting to get too close to anyone, never wanting to rub his unluckiness onto anyone else, until Naya, of course. Kota confesses in the next episode and Naoya forgives him, which I found to be quite interesting. Um, Naya says, you use me, but not for anything bad, right? Which is kind of debatable <laughs> because at the end of the day, Kota was only with Naoya at first for his own personal gain. Now, during the first episode, where Kota and Naya have their first kiss, I literally almost turned off the drama. <laughs> I just really hate when the romance between the main couple is rushed. It gives the viewer no reason to be invested in the couple. And the only explanations we get for why Naya kisses him is in the first episode where he says, that's what couples do, right? And also in the last episode where Kota asks why he kissed him back then and Naya says he did it because people in his previous relationships liked when he did it. Okay. <laughs> in this drama, I will say there are scenes that I really liked. For example, literally any scene <laughs> where Kota shows off his duality. He's a hilarious character, truly he is. Um, and also the scene where Kota is confessing to Naoya in episode six. Other than that, it's a pretty sweet drama with a relatively simple plot. It's quirky and that's fine if you're into that kind of drama. It's kind of in the same ballpark as A Man Who Defies the World of BL. But with that drama, it takes the comedy aspect and <laughs> literally runs with it. Um, however, I did like A Man Who Defies the World of BL more than this one because there was a bit more drama within the plot and the romance with the main leads wasn't super rushed, at least in my opinion. Overall, I like the drama. Kota and Naoya are very cute together. Truly, they are. And Kota was, he, he's honestly one of my favorite, like, comic, comedy based characters in BL's. Um, Mobu from A Man Who Defies the World of BL is also up there, too. I just really like when romance and comedy are mixed together because if you do it right, it's really good. So I'm introducing a new rating system for my BL slash GL whatever um, reviews. Um, this is for a bit of backstory. I like the game series Yakuza. Um, and for those of you who know that video game, know that one of the main characters' names is Kiryu. Um, so I'm introducing the Kawaii Kiryu um, rating system. So it's going to be out of five. Um, obviously, you know, the less kawaii kiddies there are, the less the rating is going to be. Um, so for Mr. Unlucky Has No Choice But The Kiss, I will rate it 4.1 kawaii kiddies out of 5. I would recommend this drama to people who really love a quirky, simple BL story. Not too much to think about when the credits roll, but it leaves you with a lovely bit of warmth in your tummy. But yeah, thank you for watching. Done it. Thank you.